Welcome to another episode of Retro Ticket. In today's episode, we would be focusing on one of the greatest filmmakers ever, but looking at one specific attribute that we want to highlight from his works. This filmmaker has made over 100 films, yes, 100, and he's very, very specifically known for one thing across all his films. The director is none other than Kailasam Balachandra or KB, as he's affectionately called, and the distinct aspect of his films is the KB touch. In today's episode, we would be talking about one of his most celebrated works, Sindhu by Ravi, but look at three KB touches from that movie, which are not his usual facial close-ups or reaction shots as such, but something very different he did with the visuals in that movie. Over to the show. Sindhu Bhairavi is the story of J.K. Balaganapati, a celebrated Carnatic musician who lives with his doting wife Bhairavi. It's a mostly perfect life but for two voids. One, they don't have a child. And second, JKB is craving an intellectual companion with whom he can discuss music with. What happens when a young girl Sindhu comes into their life and the long-term effect it has on JKB and his family forms the rest of the story. The context of this visual is that it comes at the time in the film where Bhairavi the wife of JKB has just attempted suicide and JKB is now really forced to consider leaving Sindhu altogether. This puts him in a lot of stress and he erupts into the song Tom Tom where he starts off with a lot of resolve, then the emotion goes into anger and the emotion slowly descends into resignation where he knows he has no choice but to be where he is currently. The song actually ends with his finger being cut by the strings of the tampura and two strands of blood come out. We think those two strands stand for Sindhu and Bhairavi. He's torn between the two of them, quite obviously. Or it could mean that he's torn between his passion and his profession, or that he's torn between love and family. These dichotomies are quite nicely presented by the director for us to judge on our own. This, we think, is super amazing. KB uses that one visual to present us with so many choices of how we think about it. Now, in the previous visual, we saw the emotions of JKB be quite beautifully captured by K. Balachandar. Now, what makes KB even more special is that he gives equal if not more importance to the emotions of the woman. In this particular sequence, one can see Sindhu's emotions towards JKB start off with that of extreme anger because of a specific action that he committed towards her. But then as time goes on, she develops some kind of forgiveness. Eventually, she starts longing for him and then that longing turns into full-fledged yearning. Following which, she picks up the phone, talks to him and says that she wants to meet him at any cost. Now, how does KB do it? He uses one key component of the urban lifestyle at the time, which is that along with the newspaper, one or more magazines would also be delivered and slid under the door. So much so that depending on the magazines like Kumudam or Ananda Vigadan or Kalki, one could actually say what day of the week it was. KB intersperses the visuals of the magazines being slid under the door along with the newspaper with the changes in emotions that Sindhu goes through over those few days. What makes KB such a genius is that he has shown the passing of time and all the emotion changes that Sindhu goes through without one outdoor shot. the founding pillars of the relationship between JKB and Sindhu is that JKB craves an intellectual companion with whom he can discuss music with. As their relationship evolves, Sindhu engineers the transformation of JKB from a tradition adhering classical musician to one that also sings folk songs, Tamil songs, eventually taking his powerful and attractive music to segments of the audience he never thought he would reach before. Delivering that kind of music gave him that rare satisfaction, something that he was lacking in a life that was never short of external recognition. With JKB descending into drunken despair because of him missing Sindhu, his music takes a backseat. Sindhu bravely continues that service by teaching a bunch of underprivileged kids Padari and Padipariyan, while all JKB can do is watch helplessly from the background. The brilliant KB touch in the sequence is that one visual where JKB is helplessly watching from afar. Here is a man who's never being used to be anything but the centerpiece. He's always the observed, not the observer. 
Now all he can do is watch when his actions are being carried out by someone else. That brevity, clarity and simplicity in the visuals is what makes KB so special. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Retro Ticket, which was a slight departure from our usual stuff. Please let us know what you thought were the other KB touches in Sindhu Bhairavi as well as other movies of KB. See you soon with another episode of Retro Ticket. <laughs>